Hello everyone and welcome to West Midlands Police's first ever hate crime video presented in British Sign Language. This video has been funded by the West Midlands Police Active Citizens Fund, which has enabled us to make this British Sign Language video for you, with visual examples to help you understand what hate crime is and how to report it. So what is hate crime? Hate crime is when someone commits a crime against you because of your gender, your ethnic background, your sexual orientation, religion or disability. This crime could include both physical and verbal abuse. Hate crime can also happen online, where people may post offensive or abusive comments. Has this happened to you, but you weren't sure how to approach the police about it? If so, you can report it to us and we can pass the information on to the police. The police will then investigate it and support you to make sure that the issue doesn't get worse in the future for you or for someone else. Anyone can be the victim of a hate crime. One in six people are deaf. For these people, communication barriers can result in a lack of access to information. This can lead to feelings of isolation and can increase their vulnerability. Here are some potential examples of hate crimes for you to watch. How fit this bird is it? You'll never pull up. Never pull up. Watch, mate. Alright, <laughs> babe. Hello. It's a bit rude. <laughs> Ignore me there, mate. <laughs> oh, mate. She's deaf. Mate, she's deaf and dumb. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 um. <laughs> the kind of upsetting event we have just seen can happen, whether it be in a park or even on a bus or a train. The kind of abuse and mocking of a person's deafness and sign language is a hate crime. Good morning everyone. Morning. We're here this morning to discuss the GDPR, which is the General Data Protection Regulations. I'm sure you've all heard about it, it's been common news recently. And Excuse me. Um, sorry to interrupt you, but don't we need an interpreter for him, Richard? Why? Because he's deaf. Well, if he's deaf, he can't hear. What's the point of him being here? But he's part of our team. <sighs> don't worry, it's not important. I'll tell you about it later. Anyway, the GDPR is very important to all of us. What we've got to learn is we've got to give consent for any data to be kept about us on computer. And we've got... There we saw an example of hate crime in the workplace. Firstly, there was no interpreter provided. And secondly, the trainer had a disgraceful attitude towards the deaf employee. The way she spoke to him was very oppressive. That is another example of a hate crime. I'm your deaf community, it's deaf for now. Yeah. Uh, I've been practicing and learning a lot more. If you learn more, this animal will be fine. How do you feed your deaf person? Yeah, 
It isn't only hearing people who perpetrate hate crimes against deaf people. Other deaf people can do it too, as we've just seen. Being abusive towards someone because they have a cochlear implant or communicate orally is another example of hate crime. You up, mate? Do, do you want to go? Let's go. go. Let's have it. Come on. Security. Let's go. Security. Oh, oh. fuck it. Get out, everyone. Oh. Come on. Come on. Right, I want all you lot out now. All of you out. Come on, get out. Always causing trouble. Oh, no. Come on, out. out. You're listening. Out. Oi, you're listening. Come on, out. Come on. Let's get out. 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 Come on, out. Out. In the last example, we saw a fight break out. Whether those fighting were deaf or hearing, it's right that they should be ejected from the pub. But we then saw the pub security staff come in. They ordered all of the other deaf people in the pub to get out, but did not do the same to the hearing customers. Despite the fact that the deaf people hadn't been involved in the fight and didn't even know the deaf man involved. This is another example of hate crime. We've just seen some examples of hate crimes against deaf people. But very few deaf people actually report hate crimes. This is because there's limited access to information about hate crimes in British Sign Language. They may not be sure whether what has happened to them is actually a crime, and they do not know who to report hate crime to. So Zebra Access have been working with West Midlands Police and have received hate crime training. We are now an approved third-party reporting centre for hate crime. You can report hate crime to us via text or FaceTime on the number shown here. Or email us on this address. We will pass the information on to the police and they will then get in touch with you. If you'd rather get in touch with the police directly, then you can go to the website below to report hate crime.